know, getting old, got tired of working. Being an alcoholic like I am, you know, I drink every day. David Dameron says tough breaks have forced him to live on the streets of Sarasota for the past year. Tuesday, it was time to move once again for he and others after being evicted from their homeless camp along Florida Avenue. There ain't too many places left unless you go out to 17th Street by the railroad tracks. Last week, Sarasota police told those living here that they had five days to move their belongings for good. City officials even gave an extra extension so the homeless could figure out what's next. By Tuesday morning, what was left was quickly scooped up and hauled away for good. Some say time ran out too quickly. They want you out of town, push you back somewhere, you know, where you can't be seen. Those who lent time and even a moving truck to help out say the problem hits close to home. I am one of them. I'm still the same person I was 15 years ago, sleeping, sleeping behind dumpsters and, 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 and using drugs and raising cane. I'm still the same. I've just changed my ways. Police canvassed the area while cleanup was underway to make sure the move went smoothly. While so many we spoke with say they really don't know where they're going to sleep now, they say they can actually understand why so many neighbors in the area say they don't want their homeless camp right here. You know, kids and everything running around out here, they don't need to see a bunch of people sleeping on the sidewalk. David Dameron says he'll continue to look for a permanent place to call home. In the meantime, he hopes to make it one more night on the streets like so many before. In Sarasota, Rob Wells, SNN Local News.